Hey guys and welcome to Biology 204. This is intro to, the, intro to Cell Biology and this class is a hybrid class which means part of our class experience is going to be online this semester and part of our class experience is going to be in face-to-face -face in their classroom. This video is to help you just get acquainted with a little bit of our Blackboard shell and help find things. You'll always be able to find this under the technical support area and I'll show you where you can find that later. So first thing when we get into the, the Blackboard shell, you can see here that we have our class announcements. And this is where you will always be able to find any announcements I've made in class or via email. I will always store them here for you. And you can see a little welcome announcement about class and a picture of our textbook. Now the first thing we're going to check out is our faculty information. This is where you can find my email address, my office hours, a picture of me, everything that you need to know. And it's really important, especially for me, that you recognize that my email address is Nicole Frank at cwidaho.cc. This is really important because there's a Nicole Frank the student and if you email Nicole Frank at mycwi.cc like your student emails, you're going to get her and she's not going to be able to answer any of your questions. The next most important place we need to go is syllabus. And here you can see the course syllabus and the Blackboard and the institutional syllabus. And they're both here. And at any time, anytime you see one of these documents embedded, you have all sorts of options as to what you want to do with it. You can make it a full screen, or you can click this down arrow and download a copy, print it, etc. So there's all sorts of places. And if at any time it, this box does not load, there will always be a link that says if it's not open, click here. Now let's check out our course calendar. And as you can see, here's all the information on our course and you can scroll through the months to find the different dates available and what is going to be occurring at that time in the class. I'll, you'll also note the assignments and the class times are listed so you'll always have a good place to go to see this. Now if you have an iPhone or um, an Android that you have it downloaded in, you can always click this, add Google Calendar and download this content to your um, to your personal calendar if you'd like to keep it there. Course materials is where you're going to be spending a lot of time this semester. And as you can see here, this is where we find all of our course materials. So the first thing I want you to do is check out Start Here. And we, if we go in here to Start Here, this is where all the basic class information is. And you can see a little tour. We have the technical help. There's always going to be videos under technical help that show you how to make journals, how to do discussion boards. Because in this intro video, I want to keep it short and simple. Um, so if you have problems using the tools in the class, you can always go there to see them. We also have study skills and then a whole lot of project information. Now we're going to go over the project in class, so don't get too worked up about it now. But this is where you can find any of that information you need. And then there's always extra credit and any other miscellaneous items that we have in class. So now let's go back and let's check out one of our course, one of our semesters, or one of our units for this semester. So here's our first unit. And you can see in our first unit that it has chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now within here, you can, you'll come in and you'll be able to see that here are our chapters. So if we click on Chapter 1 Materials, there will always be the same content in the same order on each of these pages for you. You'll see the uh, chapter objectives, which is what's working on loading right here. And as always, if it doesn't load, you can click the click here button and it will take you to it. Then you have a recorded lecture. Now I try to keep these recorded lectures in approximately 10 to 15 minute increments. And obviously this one's 20, but I try to keep them fairly short. So you may see a couple different parts with the, the chapters broken up. And you can see that in chapter four, we have chapter four, part one, part two, part three, etc. Then you will always have the PowerPoint. Now what's important about the PowerPoint is if you download it in the notes section, you're going to have a script to the lecture I gave. So there's all sorts of notes in there as well as you can use these slides to write on as you listen to the lecture. And the last thing in here is the practice problems that we're going to be using in class. Make sure you print these off and bring them to class and we're going to work on those. So you'll see that every chapter's material is here. Alright, so then let's look at a couple other tools. Now in the still need help section, 
every time we have a chapter open, I will have these files or these folders available to you. And these videos have lots of extra little things. So if you feel like you're not really getting it, you can come in here and check out some of these extra resources. And this is a good place to review things that maybe you learned about in past classes but have forgotten. And there's always the textbook publisher videos in here as well. So you can see those here. Then you can see the discussion board. This is where the post lecture uh, questions are that we talked about in class and this will be able to post those and answer other students. This is where the journal assignment we've talked about in class will, all, will be. And then your group project can always be found here under your my group section. Then you have the grades and all your other standard um, options here. So that's where you can find all of that information. Now if you need any help at any time, please don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to help you out and that's what a little bit of a quick overview as to how this um, Blackboard is set up for you.